Okay, everyone, this is uh, week eight of this uh, emergency declaration we have here in New York City. Uh, I've Hello, done. 3195, order again, 12 Order again, 12 Uh, decided to go out and get some fresh air. Uh, I like to do it at night when there's less people uh, around. Um, and uh, as I was saying, this is about the eighth week. It may be more, as far as I can tell. I think it's more for me. I don't know, but either way, gonna go out a little while, bounce around, and videotape some of the uh, scenery of the emptiness of the nothing that's going on here in New York City. And there's a biker. Um, I've done a couple of these videos, as I stated before. Um, uh, just showing the happenings on a Tuesday night. Uh, this is the Upper West Side of Manhattan. And... Uh, This is the Lincoln Center area. Got a couple stragglers out there. Couple cars. But, um, nothing much other than that happening. Also, the weather was really warm the last couple of days. And in the uh, upper 70s, there was a lot of people out. Uh, and that may be okay, but most of them didn't have masks on. Uh, I would say 80%. So let's see how it goes over the next few weeks and months. And uh, hopefully things will get better. That was Lincoln Center, by the way. All right, we're heading from the Upper West Side into the Midtown area of Manhattan. There's another biker. Might be the same guy. <laughs> and to the Midtown area of Manhattan. And we'll spin around Times Square and whatnot. This is Columbus Circle here. Uh, right there. Uh, you might notice a lot of buses out on the street. Uh, there's one, two, possibly a third one back there. But what they are doing is at one o'clock in the morning, they're for the first time in history going to shut down the New York City subway on purpose, meaning that it's been shut down before during strikes and uh, 9 11 and such, but it has never been totally shut down. Uh, overnight, for the reasons we all know now. So that's gonna go in effect in about an hour and a half, two, and uh, till 5 or 6 a.m. You got the NYPD patrolling. 
they stay around vital areas and uh, monitor situations that nothing happens overnight plus they're gonna have over a thousand police officers uh, monitoring the subway system so people won't go in them uh, the reason being that they're shutting it down is so the uh, disinfect the subway cars and such this here is 57 58th Street on Broadway um, and there you see it No New Yorkers, no tourists, no nothing. Zero. Zilch. And as I've stated in my other videos, you'll see a police car strategically placed on every other third or fourth corner, sometimes even every other corner. Um, we're going to go take a peek over there at Times Square for you guys. The city that never sleeps. Well, guess what? It's been sleeping for the last two months. Mind you, it's around 10, 15, 10, 20, somewhere in that area. And here you'll see. Three people bouncing around here. Couple cars there. But that's it pretty much. And there's the ball up there. I'm sure there won't be no New Year's Eve celebration this year here. That's almost guaranteed. I see a couple more people there. And another police cruiser back there. Another police cruiser there. Tow trucks. The army station, a guy dancing in front of the police station over there. Uh, this is 42nd Street. Let's see what they got going on there. A couple of stragglers. Looks like they're waiting for the buses. Um, we're going to continue down 7th Avenue and go around a few other spots. I'll be back. down here I guess this is the village area of Manhattan doing a couple turns here and there checking it out checking out various neighborhoods of the city well at least Manhattan for now
see what we got over here. Fourteenth Street area here. Hospitals here, North Wellness, Lenox Hill, or whatever, one of those. Not Lenox, a lot of Lenox Hill. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of different people. work here oh look at that there's one of the uh hold on one of the refrigeration trucks oh geez let me go around and take a look at that Sadly, I just saw this here. This is uh, one of those refrigeration units where they put the um, the deceased. They bring them in through that tarp and put them right in there. Oh God. May they all rest in peace. Anyway, sorry, I had to take a moment to absorb that scene over there with the uh, refrigerated truck. Um, not a pleasant sight. Uh, we're on 8th Avenue, heading uptown. We're waiting for this call. Let's see what they say. You have a 10 box 1622. Uh, we're all standing at the supermarket. Uh, I'm to take a look now. Uh, anyway, that was a call for smoke coming out of a supermarket. The battalion chief sees nothing. He has members checking out the building right now. Uh, we're continuing on our journey here. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, early on, but everything is so quiet and so busy uh, since this pandemic situation started. Calls have dropped dramatically. Fires have dropped, dropped dramatically. Yeah, but you also have 
Um, so yeah, we're going to go around 34th Street area. And you tend to see a few more cars. Uh, straggling around. Um, this is Madison Square Garden up here. And there that is. Uh, I'm gonna take a spin down 34th Street to check it out. Might be able to see the uh, Empire State Building from here. Yeah, there it is. It's lighting up in white and blue. And yellow, I think that's for first responders. Yeah, and red. Word has it that Macy's is gonna open up this week. Uh, there that is. Macy's Herald Square.
there are no words. It's just creepy, the whole thing. Um, yeah. Continue our little drive here. Uh, we're gonna go um, uptown. On the highway and check it out, see what's going on over there. Maybe I should play the lotto. 215 million Mega Millions. Powerball 59 million. The problem is you win the lotto, you can't go nowhere. So 
So we crossed over from the uh, West Side Highway into the West Side of the Bronx. We haven't done uh, any driving around here. We're gonna check it out. Uh, see what goes on here at night. A little bit more traffic on this because this goes all the way up to uh, the New England corridor so a lot of these people are interstate drivers Go check out the Bronx. All right, so as I said, we're in the Bronx, taking a peek at what's going on up here. A couple of grocery stores open, a couple of people. Here and there. out over here too. There's a pole pole down the street. Okay, so we're heading to uh, the Fordham Road area. This is Fordham Road. Fordham, Fordham, you name it. Uh, they have a, a lot of high concentration volume of the virus in these other boroughs. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of traffic going on, much more than in Manhattan. But this is the Grand Concourse, by the way. For all of you that are familiar with this area, 
lot of cars driving around up here. And more people walking. Six feet, six feet. I'm going to cross over to the other side of the Bronx and check that out for you guys. I'll just give you a little peek at that side. Look at all the cars here. One after another. Look at them. Look at them all. And that's why these areas have high concentration cases of corona look at it we changed our mind about going to the other side of the Bronx we're gonna stay on this side and poke around and uh, head back downtown downtown Manhattan you guys see the gist of it uh, a lot of empty streets hardly any people but a lot of car traffic Very nice, very nice. Unbelievable. Where is everyone? Alright guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, still in the heading to the South Bronx. Uh, heading back to Manhattan. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a little look at uh, the situation. Conditions are the same, so pretty much it's just as I said before. The... Uh, if you ask me, there's um, a lot more traffic and stuff going on up here.
Look at them all. Street's still pretty empty, but you still got stragglers. So we're gonna cross back into Manhattan. Uh, we're leaving the Bronx now, 149th Street. Uh, crossing into the city now. back in Manhattan. We're going to take a small spin around Harlem and uh, see the conditions here. You see the difference when you come back into the city how the traffic becomes less and less and uh, no people at all if you look around and uh, Yeah. Just going out to get a little air. Get our minds off things. And look and observe about the situation. Quite astronomically uh, not normal. Okay, that's going to be it for this trip. With that said, the two and two, see you all on the other side. Be safe, be well, and God bless always.